Give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rokah HaKodash. Double honors to the elders of GMS. Double honors to the elders of GMS and the apostles and bishops on down. Uh, Shalom to the hopeful elect. Uh, Shalom for the sisters out there listening and for the ribs out there staying in order. Right? So I was watching this video of the brother from North Carolina. Uh, I believe GMS North Carolina 777 he had posted this video of the, uh, this man um, watching the chariots in the NASA um, um, live stream right we know that got cut off because that's what they do right but <clears throat> a lot of times when we see these videos man you know they're faith boosters man you know because we almost out of here man especially you know this being a year to turn up you know, we we are hastening the time of Yahweh Bash you know, try coming and redeeming us. So, you know, we're looking for the signs, right? Because the, 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 this adulterous generation is seeking for a sign, right? That's us. That's Israel, right? We constantly looking for a sign. So this 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 is one of the signs, man. This is a major sign. Right, but without further ado, let me just play the video real quick so you can get what I'm trying to say. I'm telling you guys, I'm not fucking playing. Look at this horn. It's a gold horn from the NASA space station live fucking feed. Excuse my language. Oh, oh my gosh. Look. What the hell's going on? Holy fuck. NASA space station looking out to the stars. Oh my, that's a fucking massive ship. That's a massive fucking spaceship, look. Oh my gosh, there's another one flying up there. You can't even see it. Oh, oh, look at, there's another one. There's whole fucking fleets of them. Look at another one right there. Oh fuck, something's going on. Something's going on, guys. Look at that shit. I'm not fucking kidding you. Holy fuck! You guys, what the fuck? Is somebody explain this to me right now. This is on the Roku app. A Roku fucking TV. These are the live fucking feeds. These are fucking fleets of aliens. They're staring at fucking space. Oh my god, something's going on. Something's going on, guys. I need fucking answers. Stay fucking woke, bitch up in that hole. Tell me what the fuck this is. Look, they're like fucking invisible. I'm sorry, I mean, from outer space. This is space. Look at the NASA International Space Station HD live feed, courtesy of NASA. Something going on here, guys. We need fucking answers. We need to know what this stuff is. What? That's a whole city. That's like a fucking mothership. You guys, comment, like my video, follow me. Oh, look at they stopped it. They stopped it. Something's oh shit. They fucking stopped this shit. The video from Space Station external high definition camera has been interrupted due to loss of signal. How the hell was that loss of signal? They're right, so we, we know we know they stopped that signal for a reason, man. They don't want you to know the truth, right? They don't want to see that you're almost out of here. You know, they don't want you to look into these things, right? So, um, you know, I'm going to start with Psalms 68. <clears throat> Right, verse 17, Psalm 68, verse 17. The chariots of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai are 20,000, even thousands of angels. 
the Lord Yahweh, the Lord Yahweh Oshai is amongst them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. Right, so he's within them, man. He's he, he's he's you know he's directing these things, man. He's the director of all these, um, all these chariots, all these wars, man. All everything that's coming, man. You know, you know, back like, you know, 15, 15 years ago, you didn't see clusters of chariots like that, you know, in this kind of size, man. At least I haven't. You know, I never even heard of something like this, this big. So you saw the big, how big that thing was. Right? Let's look at that last chariot. This dude lost his mind. Look at that. A cluster of what the fuck is that? That's a mother shit. That's like a I'm sorry guys. There's something going on. This is moving in unison. Mother shit. That's a massive fucking spaceship, look! Now you can't you can't grasp the size of this thing just from looking at the the speckles of stars, man. Now you can imagine, right? you what the fuck that, I'm telling that's you guys? probably the size of a, I'm not a planet. Fucking playing. Look at this and look war. how fast it's moving. It's a gold award from the NASA space station live fucking feed. Excuse my language, oh space station looking out to the stars. Oh my, that's a fucking massive ship. That's a massive fucking spaceship. Look. Oh my gosh, there's another one flying up there. You can't even no, see. This, this man lost his mind, man. But you know. If he had known uh, the scriptures and he had known, you know, because he looks like he's a Jake, man. You know, if he was a Jake, you know, if he knew he was a Jake, he would not be, you know, freaking out like that. He'd be happy, man. Right? Because wisdom and knowledge is our stability. So, you know, he just lacks knowledge to know what's going on there. And, um, you know, he just needs to get, you know get with the program man but you know eventually everybody's gonna see everybody's going to look up and say damn man you know realize the truth all right let me go to um Zach, uh zachariah 5 let's start verse 1 uh it says then i turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked and behold a flying roll right we know a roll a dinner roll is round just like you see those stars around right you look at a dinner roll today it's you know it's like white in color right a star is what you know it's like white in color so he described it as best he could right verse two and he said unto me what seest thou and i answered and i see a flying roll and the length thereof is 20 cubics and the breadth there, breath thereof is 10 cubits. Right? So it was... It was pretty big, man. I Honestly, I couldn't tell you how many 20 cubits is exactly. Um, but from what I understand and what I come to understand is that it's a pretty big... It's a pretty substantial number, man. Uh, verse uh, 3. Then said he unto me... This is the curse. So these chariots that this man's looking at, it's a curse, man. But for who is the is the question, right? Then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the earth. For everyone that stealeth, right? So. What it what is stealing, man? That that is a uh breaking of the law statutes of the commandments of Yahweh Shin Yoshai. Right? And one of the biggest thieves on the on the earth, man, is Esau, who stole the people, the apple of his eye. Right? It's the biggest thief on earth. And now that he steal the people, he also stole the the identity. Right? It says, uh, for everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. 
and every one that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. So this curse that they're talking about is coming here to destroy everything, right? It was sent out. It was an order from Yahweh Shai, right? Verse four: I will bring it forth, said the Lord Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shai of hosts. Right, and the word host means armies. He said he's going to bring it forth, and they shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name. And it shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber, which is the wood that holds the damn house together. Right. Therefore, and the stones therein. Right. Because houses are made of stone and wood, like a foundation. You know, it's made out of concrete, which is made of stone. So he's going to send this thing to to the houses. Right. Verse 5, and then the angel uh, that talked with me went forth and said unto me, Lift down thy eyes and see what is this. Oh, Salakia. Um, that's good on that. Um, yeah, man. So these chariots, they're sent here for a certain reason, man, a mission. And, um, you know, our captivity, our time is running up, man. It's accomplished, man. So it's gonna it's gonna be flipped on Esau, man. Esau's, you know, running scared and you know shutting the feed. They're watching, but they're shutting the feed. They're telling you that hey, we want you to see this this uh, you know, the sky and the stars. But you know, when the truth comes out, we're gonna block it from you. We're gonna shut this station down. You can't see nothing. Right. This is wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter five, side of verse one. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such have afflicted him. Right? Since this truth came out, even before YouTube, um, before cameras and everything like that, um, you know, uh, brothers before us was um, standing in great boldness even to this day. Right? And, um, you know, the Lord gave the um the spirit to uh the spirit to gms to um receive this truth in fullness and, and spread it throughout man great boldness before the face of such have afflicted him and made no account of his labors right so esau I've been seeing brothers in the corners for a long time teaching this truth teaching about the chariots Teaching about this day to come and, you know, nothing. Right? Verse 2. When when they see it, right? When they see what? The salvation, which is the chariots to come and redeem the elect of Israel. When they see that, what's going to happen? They shall be troubled with terrible fear. This man is freaking out over a video, a live stream from NASA. How much more when they see it live? Much closer, cause they know when they see it, they it, it's over, man. They fucked up. What's that movie? Um, damn, what's that movie? Oh, what the fuck the name of it. He's like when the guy, you know, they they there was an interrogation room, and the guy gave a different story. He's like, you know, you done fucked up, right? Was that Man of Society? Anyways, says uh, when they see it, they shall trouble. They shall be troubled with uh, ter terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Because this is something unusual. That's something that they were never taught. Christianity never taught this. So when they see it, they'd be like, whoa, we never knew. What, what is this? They, you know, they they, they, re they references this to like, like UFO movies and stuff like that, and aliens. But they don't really understand, man. When the, the, the 144 is being called up into those chariots. They're going to know. Right? It says, so far beyond all that they looked for. Verse 3. And they rep rep 
and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit because they know they fucked up, man. They're like, oh, man. Shit, Yahweh Shai is a uh, so-called uh, black man. Man, we fucked up. And and they re repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision. These are the people that we don't oppress, you know, red line, you know, we did all these kind of things. These are the people, man. This is why the fear is gonna this is why the fear is gonna run the color from their faces is gonna disappear, man. This was he whom we had sometimes in derision in a proverb of reproach. Right? Verse 4. We fools accounted his life madness. Self-explanatory. They really did. You know how they look at us. And and his end to be without honor. I mean, his whole life cycle was meaningless to them. It was like, yeah, they did nothing. They're never going to be shit. They're never going to rule nothing. They don't, they don't work. They're lazy or, you know, all these other proverbs. And that's what makes Yahweh and Yahweh's salvation much greater than it looks like to the average person. Verse 5, how is he numbered amongst the children of God and is and his lot is among the saints? But that by that time, it's going to be too late, man. We say you got a whole thing coming for you, man. Hey, man, this is a faith booster for everybody, yo. So, you know, keep your head up, keep the faith, keep fighting a good fight. And uh, shalom, brother.